Welcome back. <laughs> Now, Bill Backard is a political commentator from Young Voices. He's here to discuss the top stories of the day. Bill, very good morning to you. Bill? Very good morning. <laughs> ah, good. good. Right. Um, let, good let's start you. with the... <laughs> Bit of a delay here. Bit of a Sorry, delay. Bill. Bit of a delay, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's start with the ongoing gas crisis. Uh, Prime Minister backing the business secretary. There does seem to have been a spat within, within the Cabinet. Indeed, there is so. The Business Secretary, Kwasi Kwarteng, um, sent forward a proposal to the Treasury uh, to bail out the major gas industries uh, amid the uh, hike in wholesale gas prices, which have quadrupled, uh, quadrupled uh, this year alone. Um, and, and there have been tensions between the two that have been arising in the past few days, particularly um, when Kwasi Kwarteng was on television uh, and making these claims that there have been talks within other Whitehall departments, and there was one anonymous source which had uh, told uh, several newspapers uh, that the business secretary was just making things up. Uh, but the prime minister is on board uh, with uh, Kwateng's uh, proposal, uh, and there's also been another array of demands and other measures to mitigate the supply crisis, uh, particularly with wholesale gas, uh, for instance, temporary subsidies uh, with steel, gas, and also ceramics. Uh, Bill, good morning. Let, let's move on. We've got lots to talk about. New health and social care levy could be almost trebled in the coming years. Uh, what did you make of that? What do you know? Yes, yeah, so there, there was a report from the Institute for Fiscal Studies uh, which said that because of the hiking costs of healthcare, uh, particularly uh, within the ageing population due to the coronavirus uh, pandemic, that it's eating into funds uh, in various other services uh, around the country, particularly courts, prisons and also local government. Uh, and the IFS has said that um, as a result, that taxes, which are already at its highest levels, you know, since peacetime because of uh, national insurance, corporation tax, uh, council tax, uh, taxes may even have to treble uh, within the next few years in order to pay for these services, the backlog within the NHS. And of course, uh, we've now got uh, accumulated debt of around two trillion uh, pounds. So, uh, yeah, a lot of a debate as to what the measures are going to be going forward and a lot of anticipation of Richie Sunak's budget uh, this month. Right. Um, now, this story, I, I still have to keep rereading it to, yeah. to, to believe it. Uh, at a reception at the House of Commons Terrace Pavilion, Conservative MP James Gray confuses the Education Secretary Nadim Sahawi and the Health Secretary Sajid Javid. Now, that, that's, that's one thing. Mm. But after it, he said, they all look the same to me. And that has led to widespread accusations, well, <laughs> racism, basically. Unbelievable. But um, I, I, I still can't quite believe that anybody would do that. Oh, it's just been such a bad few weeks for uh, James Gray. I mean, if you can remember, he had to apologise uh, for saying that a bomb should be planted in uh, Annalisa Dodd's office, Annalisa Dodd's being the uh, former shadow chancellor, the Labour MP. And now you've got this absolutely abhorrent story where he not only just confused uh, Nahid Dean Sari and Sajid Javid uh, at that St John's ambulance reception uh, in, part, uh, in London, uh, but now he's apparently he said that they all look the same to me and acknowledging it's not appropriate. Uh, he denies that, you know, that he said the, the remark and that it was just over identity and not racism. But a, a party spokesperson for the, conser the Conservative spokesperson said that his comments were uh, misjudged. And, and even St John's Ambulance are asking for him to stand down from all charitable activities uh, at once because of this. So... I, I suspect that he has an extra strong cup of coffee uh, this morning over what he's seeing in the pages. Will be. I think I believe that Mr. Zahawi immediately had a private conversation with him after uh, a couple of people saw that happen. So I think uh, that says it all, doesn't it? But uh, Bill, thank you very much yeah. indeed. Nice to see you. Thank you very Thanks much for Bill. joining us. Thank you.